let me get to this next topic right um is is a man's romantic gestures solely defined by um gifts and what he could buy a woman no yeah i feel like in today's society that's just what's being pushed out there but i feel like there's women out here who appreciate those little small things if she's not the type they like to be outside don't take her outside but you could find something else that's similar to that that she would appreciate and it don't really have to break the bank or whatever yeah and i think it also matters on like how you do things like you can't put together a raggedy picnic and then I get you, I get you. I got you, I got you. Um, what's your thoughts on this, Jill? Hold up, why you why you can't switch it up though? Like, like I said, it's all communication. I could have took you, I could have took you to a nice restaurant on the first day. I want to do something nice and simple, something intimate for you. I want to go on a picnic today. My, my, my point is, niggas got to stop leading with their money. Okay. That that's okay. the whole point. When you doing that, that's what's all she's expecting. That's why she liked you. That's the reason why you got that far, because you led with your bread. Welcome back to another episode of Daily Wrap Up Crew. No book of I go by the name of Eli. Follow me on IG, the real Y Eli. Shoot mm. me a DM. Y'all want to chop it up real quick. I'm definitely going to re reply. To I ain't got that many followers yet. So make sure y'all help me out <laughs> by getting on followers up, man. As always, we got Ace. Boy, got IG, man. But yes, indeed, I'm the best at it. I don't care if I get votes. I won at Top Golf, but they've been calling me Tiger because I got the best stroke, Garrett. I used to go 24. That's where I got, bro. I'm tired of this thing. <laughs> like, last but not least, we got Jew. Oh, man. What it do, what it do. It's your boy, Jew. And I'm here with the Daily Wrap Up crew. And just like a two chain verse, everything we say is true. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. And we in Atlanta, too. The two chain. Sure, I, I, I like that. I like that, man. Like, anyway, we got some special guests. Ladies, let them know where they can follow you at. Chanel. You can follow me at Chanel's.world. Yummy in the house. You know, you can follow me up on IG. Yummy world. Back up. You know what I'm saying? Her. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> she did the Meg. Yeah, she did the Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Real high girl shit. <laughs> Real high girl shit. Um, my name is Amisha, but y'all can call me Misha. Follow me everywhere at Amisha. That's E M M E I S H A. Um, yeah, you want to shout out the podcast? Oh, yeah. And at underscore in our lane. That's in our lane. Mm -hmm. yeah, so We're going to throw it up on the screen, too. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Listen, before we get into these topics, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. If you have not already subscribed, join the membership and cop the merch. Man, this is exclusive. You're not going to get that. But cop the merch right there. <laughs> Daily Rapper Crew. Logical. 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 Yeah. Feelings. Hey, you know what I ain't plugging in a minute? What? The second YouTube channel. Oh, Daily Rapper Crew Clips. We out here. You know there man? we go, man. Oh, and oh, listen. Push, man. Listen to the podcast audio every Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, let me get to this first topic, right? Got that. <laughs> I do, since we in Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. We were talking earlier about how a lot of the critique that I hear from Atlanta women is that a lot of the men out here on, on the, what, what, what term are they, down low? That's down, right, low down low, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and I know earlier you said that men are you know, soft and they, they feminine. So, Very so what's your thoughts on that whole, you know, dating dynamic in Atlanta? And I know y'all two are in Atlanta now. You, you've you been in Atlanta your whole life. So. Yeah, I don't really feel it's peach, but. Um... You said they're acting like Georgia peaches? Huh? Well, she said she oh, you a real Georgia, Georgia peach. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 but um, I never experienced dating a down low man. Mm. Me personally, mm -hmm. but that is something you know in the group chats they will hear a lot. Like, oh, girl, guess what I found out? Mm. Okay, um, it's it's real out here. Mm. How does that make you feel? Um, as far as like, like I said, I never dated someone that was down low. But as far as dating men that I felt like were a little bit more on the feminine feminine side, yeah, yes, and I just think that that's just because. We, I guess, are accustomed to feeling like all men are the same, whereas, like, every man is supposed to be rough and hood. But every man is not like that. Mm -hmm. Some men are able to tap into that soft side, and they're not okay. They're, they are okay with being vulnerable. So, I mean, Wh I which, just feel like it just depends on what type of man you like. Like, some people which will be Which will be your preference? For me? Mm -hmm. And 
I definitely feel like I don't want a man that's too feminine, but um, I definitely need someone that is able to vocalize and express himself. And I feel like some women look at that as being soft, mm-hmm. but I don't. Okay. So. Got you. Okay. Appreciate that. But Miss New York, what you got to say? Like Wait, nah, we got, we got to say her. Say her for like, okay. That sound like a cornball ass nigga. Yeah, he sound like a cornball. One second, one second, one second. We going to get to you. Go ahead. Um, I'll pick it back off of her. I would say definitely um, not too much of both, really. Just a balance. Mm-hmm. So definitely a balance. Mm. Have you have you experienced uh, what they talking about in ATL? I really haven't done much dating here, so I I, I really haven't experienced that. So oh, okay. I don't. I can just speak on it. Okay, political. Is that a choice? Because you, you ladies are attractive women. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Y'all seem feminist, soft spoken. I could see a lot of men approaching mm-hmm. all of you. I'm saying, like, is that a choice that you're making, or yeah, why, why, why haven't you? Because you've been here for a significant amount of time, right? Mm-hmm. So, what, what? Why do you think that you haven't taken that step to Me? date? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, because I really came down here to like actually, I heard this was the city to be an entrepreneur. So I was like, mm-hmm. okay, well. Wherever it is, I'll go get it. So, so you don't think it's room for both? Um, I do think it's room for both. Mm-hmm. I do, I'm not saying that there's not room for both. Mm-hmm. However, I would say when you're one like tunnel vision, it's kind of hard to focus on something else, especially a relationship. I think you know yeah. that requires a lot of work, mm-hmm. and you have to be willing to give up your time. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Miss Yonkers, man, what, what's up, man? You got, I know you gotta talk your shit. What, what, oh, she what, from the Yonkers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, I like her niggas. You try to get tattoos. You say you like her niggas? She using the Remy verse. She using the Remy verse, like the Remy verse on Cardi Diamond. Like, I'm saying, yeah. 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 Say, nah, for real. Can, can you say that like, again? That's what I want. Say, I want say one more time. Say one more time. Drug dealers that eat the pussy like a vacuum. I want all of that. Okay. Why? I, I what do you mean? Why do you like? Why you like hood niggas? Like what? I what does? What do? What do hood niggas do for you? you. <laughs> so you feel like only a hood nigga can protect? You? I love me a hood nigga. That's not what he asked you. Though. I love him to <laughs> tell me what to do. Okay. To tell you what to do. Tell me what to do. What hey, you, you want me to do? And hey, you feel like only hood niggas could do that? How you want me to do? What happened? You feel like only hood niggas could do that? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So you need somebody that could that could put you in your place. Yeah. Handle Put you. me in my place. Handle I ain't you. never had a nigga to do that. Even though you've been dating her nigga? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I promise you, any woman that say uh, they need a man to put them in their place, put the red flag. Place, do not, girl. do not go that way. I promise. But you. I, I need, I need place. you, I need you to elaborate. What's putting you in your place? What would that man? Like I'm like, do? yo, babe, I'm, I'm outside, <laughs> bitch. Don't you fuck you not. <laughs> so nobody never told you that. <laughs> nobody never told you that. No. That's crazy. Okay. Why, but why does that me. make you like, like what? Like yeah. <laughs> I don't even like that. Like you, you can't tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. Hey, what, what, what a camera! What a camera at, man! Like, I want a nigga to put that. Yeah. You Listen, know, you U- Umar, I don't know if you're listening. I don't know if you're watching. But this is the shit we be talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't understand how men are supposed to be responsible for the poor decision making that they make in men on a regular basis. Hey, me. That nigga is I not a quality man me. for you. Yeah, he always I mean, gonna lead you down the wrong me. road. Tame mm-hmm. me. Tame you. Now, you. now she a wild animal. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this shit is crazy. Like, you know what I mean? But you, you were saying earlier that um, you feel like the men out here is soft, right? Yeah. Why you feel like that? Why you feel like that? Because they can't tame you. Yeah. Mm. I do have a question, though. Because mm-hmm. I, cause I really, I'm, I'm a little confused, too. Like, mm-hmm. you said someone can't, they can't tell you what to do, but you want somebody to tame you at the same time. Mm. You can't. They can't so, tame you. So, so why what? can't they tell you what to do? Like I'm lost. Why like, can't they tell? Why you? they can't tell yeah. me what to do? Cause yeah. I'm a grown fucking woman. <laughs> so wait, you want someone? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You want someone to tame you? So what? What would? Tame. What would a man have to do to tame you, though? Tell me to shut the fuck up and sit my ass down. And nobody told you that. Yeah. See, so you, I you, feel you, like telling you that so right you, now. Like what the fuck? So you did. You <laughs> damn near want a nigga to put. Shut the fuck up without the fade. But I'm just saying. Without the fade. So I gotta beat your ass and tell you to to shut the fuck up. Is what you're saying. 
little roughness. I like a little roughness. This nigga. Yo, Umar. <laughs> Umar, again, I, I don't know if you're listening. Like, I don't. You, I mean, I, sometimes I'm you be tuning wrong. in. I like a little roughness. What's wrong with that? I like you said I gotta shoot the like fake. You said I, like I gotta shoot the fake with you to tell you to shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. La- ladies, like do, I'm gonna ask ladies, do you guys hear this side frequently? Like, and y'all girls chat. I know y'all, we were talking about girls chat mm-hmm. and occasionally. What would you say to your sister or your cousin that prefer the hood and the gangster nigga mm-hmm. that's black and high or beating her ass? Because now we're gonna get that nigga together. Um, <laughs> I feel like some couples they have that natural like banter where it's like, it's just joking, it's just playing. But if it gets to the point where it's like it's a real, like he really beating your ass, mm. then that's where it's like, okay, sis, now we gotta go back to drum boy. What if she, what if she telling you, girl, I like that? Like, what you, what you want to say there? Well, <laughs> are you gonna hold her accountable? Yeah, we need to go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you gonna hold her accountable? She, that's your girl, your sis. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, no, ma'am. <laughs> If he beating on you like for real, for, like, for, for real, for real, for real, I'm like, sis, let's go to therapy. She want to be the but nigga, so she, you got to say no, sir. <laughs> mm. Facts. But some girls that keep going back. So, so I can't, I can't really trust what you're saying that the men in Atlanta are soft because what you looking for right now, you want a fucking probation officer, or something. <laughs> like uh, that's at this All point, right. you want. You want the wrestler? She like, want to sell me. Uh, or, <laughs> she said, "You gotta beat my ass and then tell me shut the fuck up." <laughs> like, like, I really think that some women that think like that usually prefer those men because those are the men that's giving them the time. Mm. A man that like me that's working hard and making making money and taking challenges and fulfilling my c- career, building a family. Mm-hmm. I ain't got no time for a woman to tell me, "Yo, you gotta be the nigga to tame me." This ain't fucking wild like you. This ain't the circus. Sure ain't. I ain't Bye about to beat your way. ass with a whip. I ain't got no time for that. You know, I mm-hmm. I would probably even say in my immature young days, I would probably think that woman is ex- like some you want to smash on. I can't even smash. I'm not even going to puff, puff fast. I don't even want your ass. Like, I don't want nothing. You get what I'm saying? So, I get to see, bro, keep yeah. going to rock. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, so, you got to respect yeah, that. So, can I, can, I, can I ask you a question? Do you have, like, a, a father or a father figure in your life? I did. You did? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. okay. Right. To, up until what point? What happened? Up until what point? Like, what age? No, I didn't hear you. What happened? Up until what age did you have a father figure? Is what I'm saying. So, like, uh, he passed, like, last year. Oh, last so, year. Last year. Condolences. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know this is to you. Yeah. I think sometimes the only reason I ask this because you know when I do hear women speak like you, mm-hmm. they usually don't have that father figure or or that father in their lives, so they don't know how to properly vet a, a man or they don't know what they should expect from a man. You know, outside of it being toxic, because what you what you explain it right now sounds very Listen, toxic. Like I've been in a relationship for twenty twenty years. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we lost two parents on each side, so it's like. Death basically ripped us apart. Mm-hmm. So we're not together no more. So, free, so, free. so why you think that relationship last? He, did he tame you? A little bit. A little bit. For 20 years. I mean, he had to do some type of taming. So that mean he beat your ass then? Like. But he didn't have to. Oh, he didn't have to? Mm-mm. What do you mean? After that 10 years, he didn't have to. I did whatever he wanted me to do. Why? Because he's the king. Why? I mean, what What made him the king, though? What made him the king? Yeah. He worked hard for his family, took care of his family. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that made him the Right. So, king. so those are good qualities to submit to. So why now do you feel like you need a nigga to beat your ass that you shut the fuck up to, to get to I that point? I want to find something a little like him. I ain't going to hurt. I ain't going to lie. Like, you know what I'm so, he, so he was like that? Yeah. So that's basically that's all she knew. So that's all, like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. That's who she tried to date. Have you been to therapy though? Mm. That's enough. I'm, I'm gonna give you the, some numbers. Do, do you feel like you you should like a little bit? Okay, without so him. huh? A little bit without him. So you think you should pursue that in the near future? Mm-hmm. I think you should too. Man. Not 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 coming at but you or nothing. No, I, I understand yeah. what you're mm-hmm. saying, but that's what I was used to. Twenty mm-hmm. years, that's a long yeah. time. Yeah, and and. And I understand where you're coming from, but I think it's time to heal, you know what I mean, and progress in life and find mm-hmm. something better for you. Because that's not, it don't always lead down the right path, you know what I mean, the way you want to. Yeah, and I, I think those situations are, t- uh, it's just super toxic and it's abusive. 
you know, verbally, physically, is going to drain a lot from you. Like, man or woman, I'm not even really, I'm not just trying to go at you. I'm saying any yeah. man mm-hmm. who's in that situation as well is just yeah. not a, like, a uh, situation to sustain a healthy long-term relationship. Yeah, we be like, telling you know? our bro he like toxic shit too. So we be telling our bro that he got to stop that shit. You know what I mean? I so, not, I if she ain't toxic, shit, he ain't trying to pop it. You know, you know, so that is false. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he be like the... <laughs> so, don't listen to the don't do not listen to these niggas like listen let me, let me get to this next topic right um is is a man's romantic gestures solely defined by um gifts and what he could buy a woman because normally and i say this because normally when we speak about romance it's yeah. usually because a man has spent money on a woman you know what i mean like it, right. women don't consider even though they'll, they'll say, oh, a picnic in a park. Like, no, y'all cutting that nigga ass that gave you that. But y'all going to call him broke. Y'all going to say, oh, he couldn't. Like, not you. Lame. But <laughs> most women will be in a group chat. Like, girl, can you believe this nigga just took me to a park? Like, right. so I think sometimes in our in our generation, because everybody's so materialistic, mm-hmm. we yeah. tend to view romance in a lens of finances. finances like, you know, yeah. dude, would y'all agree with that? No? I mean, I not mean, not y'all, yeah, but, yeah, but just in, general, in, a, in a broad spectrum, man. I mean, yeah, I feel like in today's society, that's just what's being pushed out there. But I feel like yeah. there's women out here who appreciate those little small things. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like it all depends on who the woman is. You got to figure out what she like. If she's not the type, they like to be outside. Don't take her outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you could find something else that's similar to that, that mm-hmm. she would appreciate. And they don't really have to break the bank or whatever. Right. But I mean, it just depends on what she likes. Some girls, they just not with it. But mm. it's a lot of us out here who, you know, that's mm. on. Yeah, they have the small things. Yeah. yeah, and I think it also matters on, like, how you do things. Right. Like, you can't mm-hmm. put together a raggedy picnic and then, right. 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 And then call it, like, yeah, a last-minute like thing where, it oh, it's, like you, yeah. you know that. For at least right. Years, like, know. don't. <laughs> and then up? make it look like you put some effort in it. Because right. you if you just get something that's last minute and mm-hmm. oh. it looks last minute then yeah, it's gonna be like I, a lot of women like to see effort like mm-hmm. why would you why would you <laughs> like why would yeah. you like yeah. anybody could like throw like down a rug right. yeah like, like you, you, didn't take, you didn't take all your effort into yeah. this like yeah. I would've you know mm-hmm. like you threw down a rug and then that was a picnic no come on like oh, there's yeah. there's a lot of picnic planners now especially now in 2024 2023 like yeah. last year mm-hmm. where they make it look really nice like mm-hmm. you put effort into it but if you're just like we're having a picnic because you know she told you like 10 days in his last minute i'm gonna be able mm-hmm. to tell mm-hmm. and on top of that like you know anyways mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so. i get you i get you i got you i got you um what's your thoughts on this you um <laughs> listen i'm not i wouldn't say that all women uh feel that way but i want to point out the fact because i i'm listening to the ladies i just want to point out the fact that a lot of dudes what we don't mention a lot of dudes leave with their money Right. And then you spending this money and then you tricking, you shining, you taking her here, knowing you, you can't afford that. And then you want her to understand, yo, I'm trying to take you on this. When she met you at the level when you was just always spending money. Mm-hmm. So then you expect her to just take the the, the dollar, dollar tree events or the, the picnic. It's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is you have to be that way. From the beginning, if you lead him with money and then take the money away, right. this is why she's looking at you like, "What the fuck?" Exactly. You know what I'm well, saying? Why, 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 you, why you can't switch shit up though? Like, no, I mean, like I said, it's all communication. If she's I could have took you. I could have took you to a nice restaurant on the first day. I want to do something nice and simple, something intimate for you. I want to go on a picnic today. My, day, my, right? my point is, niggas got to stop leading with their money. Okay. That that's right. the whole point. When you doing that, that's what's all she's expecting. Mm. That's why she liked you. Okay. That's the reason why you got that far because okay. you led with your bread. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now she's in your head. She just, oh, you trying to switch it up now? Fuck you, nigga. Mm. And I'm not saying like all women think like that, but mm. this is what eventually happens when she sees you as a score. Gotcha. Mm. So, so, when, go ahead, go ahead. so when should, this in general, when should somebody stop? putting that facade on because we understand we have this conversation all the time uh-huh. where, where men have to, you know, um, continuously lead in the relationship. And the minute he stopped leading for any purpose of a second, yeah. then it's like, oh, well, you stopped doing the things you used to. Just like, well, women, we met y'all looking a certain way, and then now all of a sudden y'all don't take care of yourselves as much. I don't want to mm-hmm. look good for us. The body much, on every like, day. You know what like, what I mean? like, I mean, so like, y'all rather look good for y'all homegirls and for your nigga and mm-hmm. shit like that when y'all go out. So, like, at what point do you feel like somebody should get comfortable enough to be like, you know what? 
I they don't always have to be at uh, ten all the time. They get lower it down like I, I, immediately. Yeah, I love. All right, hold on, hold on. You should definitely be, stop when you, you should be comfortable that immediately. Wow, like you, you expect me to continue looking like this, nigga? I already got you. <laughs> Where well, I gotta continue? That's why you like getting this. the fuck out. <laughs> what? You, you can't stay with me. If yes. You can, I, I, I want you to maintain you that same. That same. Me. No, no. You don't love me for me. I lose my money. You ain't loving me for me. <laughs> you don't get a cut every day, <laughs> nigga. Like, oh, what day? Like you ain't you don't look like the same nigga I fell in love with either. So why should I keep myself up? You don't keep yourself up. I, I feel like it should be on both things. Like don't I don't feel I don't feel, like, I don't feel like I don't feel like you should ever stop trying to impress your partner. Yeah. We I ain't hundred percent agree with yeah, that. Yeah, we we was I having this we, we was having this conversation about passing gas in front of your partner the other day. <laughs> I I feel like me personally. I don't do that, bro. I want my partner to look at me as the most sexiest nigga in the world. I'm gonna make sure continue my my keep. Yeah, yeah, I keep doing. I'm gonna continue to look the way I look. Know what I mean, I'm a I'm gonna diet, go to the gym, all that, all that other shit. You know what I mean? I think that's that's a continuous thing because there's always gonna be competition out there, and mm-hmm. the competition is even more because mm-hmm. of social media. So I think you gotta work even harder Perhaps. to make sure your partner mm-hmm. is. Is, is still in love with you, you know what I mean? You you still that nigga that your partner met, you still that woman that, that your partner met, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I definitely feel like the effort should never stop. Um, but I agree with what he said. Like, I feel like you should just come off authentically as much as possible as yourself because I would hate for you to make me perceive you as this guy who can do this and that. And yeah. then when we really get into it, yeah. you like, well, this is what it's like. And then now I'm questioning you, like, mm-hmm. can I trust you? Is That's this, basically this, the same shit she's saying. You should take me as I am and love me no matter what. Mm-hmm. But I and like, and I think we hear that phrase more from women. Like anytime I ever heard that phrase, "love me as I am," mm-hmm. there's a woman trying to tell me that, like trying to tell make me settle for less and be like, "Oh well, take me for no, this is why I am." Like you know what I'm saying? It's it's for sure settling for less. Like you know what I mean? So. I ain't never heard no man say, "Yo, damn, yeah. take me as I am." Like we yeah. understand, we got to be out of I mean, and, 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 guys, and I, you got no choice because men men you physically don't hide who they they can't hide who they are. We ain't got wigs and fuck. I mean, niggas got pieces of they shit. They lying about their money. Yeah. You take, you take they sipping. But oh but that's why I think that people shouldn't rush in a relationship. It's only so much you confront with money if you ain't got it. You know what I mean? So like, half, yeah. half, half yeah. these people yeah. aren't in relationships. This mm. niggas taking women out on dates mm. and they just getting fooled <laughs> and then she don't speak to them no more until he buy her another plate. Mm. And then with him keep doing that, no, that's why she feel like, comfortable. That's, that's why a nigga is Saved on her phone as the food nigga. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, don't be doing this like that, y'all. I mean, I, hey, don't, 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 I like it in real. Don't, I like it in real. Hold on. No, it's definitely real. Okay, so, okay, so wait. I do have a question about that. Hold on, hold on. She got a question real quick. Okay, I do have a question about that. So you feel like. The person shouldn't go out to eat with that one guy. Like he shouldn't be a food guy. I like. What do you feel about that? What exactly? the fuck? I'm asking. Like I want to know. What? What you want a nigga to go out with you if you was just a food woman? Okay, let me finish what I'm saying. It's like okay, say so you have a girl, right? Mm-hmm. But you might have her saved as Becky the top. We don't know. Like she gives good top, right? So, right. but that's all that you guys have in exchange. Mm-hmm. Like, but you're not taking her out. You're not taking her on dates. Is mm-hmm. Would you classify yourself as being wrong? Like, would you say, listen, I'm really messed up? Because in, in my I would se- think I'm equally as stupid. You get what I'm saying? If I keep taking you out okay. and no. you only want me for a dinner date, uh-huh. then I can't relate. Right, right. Gotta, gotta, so, gotta, and, and, wait, wait, wait. But that's the difference, though. Are you letting that nigga know that you're not looking for nothing serious with him? Like, I'm I saying... Just, in the case of a guy, though. All right. Ooh, if I'm letting her know, like, yo, I'm not looking for nothing. But, serious. okay, a lot of guys don't then do cool. that. A lot of guys. Right. But future that, and that's why I feel like it's wrong. But yeah. if you're communicating and letting her know, like, I'm not looking for nothing with you, and she still want to come over and suck his dick, then goodies. okay. You know what okay, I mean? So like, I'm giving up was... my goodies. So, so on the about... other end, if you let that nigga I'm know that. I'm giving up my goodies, and you taking it. Because I got that. He got that. What are talking about? I ain't good, and I'm about to give you some. So, all right. As long as we long only went to Chick Fil A, man. What you as long as no, we ain't going to Chick Fil A. <laughs> as long as get no goodies and no Chick Fil A. But as long as both parties happy in the situation but and they know what's going on, then cool. Okay. But a lot of cases, a lot of people don't have good communication and they don't say what they want. Right. What? Well, and that's when I believe it's wrong. You got to communicate and let that person know. So if and the guy knows that. If he knows that, he's still taking you he, out. He then you, you in the right. You in the right. You stupid chick. 
Because you that, already know he, what's going on. He 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 got the information. He, he he making his decision. <laughs> sure. Then that's his issue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's but just like I, when what I found mm. is that when guys find out that they are that guy or that you communicate, hey, like I just want this to be platonic, or whatever, we can still hang out. Yeah. They don't want to talk to you no more. And but yeah, but, but, but that's the yeah, risk you take because like, yeah, every right, every tell a woman, I I only see you as a I only see you as why we can't just be friends. Why I fuck you because what? that friend because that friendship what do you is, is one sided. Yeah, what do you like, give him? Like, shit, like we could be yeah. real. friendship. <laughs> We, no. Okay, we that's an interesting. That friendship is because you you only want like that friendship because yeah, and I ain't gotta take them out to dinner. They just yeah, my but friends. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, one time, yo, everybody talking over. Yeah, you. you only want that friendship because you're the only one benefiting from that. You're getting the the um the dates, what he's buying you stuff, he's taking you out, he's per- he's somebody you could call to protect you and stuff. I'm not he's not let, getting let me, the same in return. Let me ask one question: If he stopped taking you out to dinner now, is that still your friend? Yeah. All right. All right, so so once he stopped me, I still friends. Then that's yeah, cool. If you yeah. want to take you out once in a while, all right, cool. Right. And then you know, friends, he's like, I pay, you pay, like that's just. Oh, oh, so you gonna pay sometimes too? Yeah, this oh, is my right. homie. Like, all right, all right. Then that sounds equivalent. Yeah, like, that sounds equivalent. Like, yeah. How, how but, frequently do you think women ignore the fact that men do tell them that they're not looking for a relationship? And you know what I'm saying? Because you mm-hmm. said that women might say it to guys and they get mad, mm-hmm. but we we ignore the fact that. You know, y'all say, "Oh, a lot of men didn't tell me." No, he told you. You just wasn't listening. Yeah, or you thought he could, cha- oh, you oh, thought you thought thought he could change. change him, or yeah, well, he was going to change for you, and he he's not like you know. What but I mean? also, we take that same risk when we tell them, I, "I'm not looking for nothing serious." She might be like, "Oh, you're not looking for nothing serious." It's like your dick no more. You know what I mean? So that, that's that's, that's a risk you gotta take. Risk, yeah. to one more time for the road. Yeah, one more time. One more time. Serious. Yummy is not looking for nothing serious. Let me get one more. I'm outside, but okay. You outside? I'm not outside. Like, I'm not looking for nothing serious or something. I'm outside. She said it what it is. They look for nothing serious. I wait till the fall. How old? Nah, nah, let me not. Let me not get into that. Like you upset. But um, women like you, I avoid. I swear to God, I just like they just. I don't don't know. You you do. You do. For sure, like, and at least I'm gonna get some femininity in exchange. I'm not about to deal with a headache and masculinity. There's no fucking way, bro. Like, there's no way. That's one thing I do appreciate about Atlanta. We was talking about that. Mm. We come, me from being from New York, yeah. me coming mm-hmm. to Atlanta, I feel like I'm presented with femininity on a regular basis. I'm not saying that New York women sound like her. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Like, it sounds mm-hmm. too aggressive. It sounds too much like my homeboy. Like, I want to be met with femininity. <laughs> and I get that a lot when I come to the South, man. I'm like, I'm going to have to move mm. to the South. To so, the I, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Go ahead. You got to disagree? I'm going to disagree. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I feel like the environment of the place is what you're going to, what you're getting. No, at. but you from New York. I'm from New York. And you present yourself as a very feminine woman. I never looked at you like, oh, damn, she give off masculine. But now, she a, gives off masculine energy. But we're like both from New York. So, what environment has she been in for her to be this way is what I'm saying. Uh, well, the New York so I don't New York, so I, <laughs> exactly, but those I'm are the women I avoid them. Like. New York. How long have you been in New York? I've been in New York since I was eighteen. No, how long right. have you been here? Twenty. There it goes. You been <laughs> there it goes. That's what I'm saying. I've been in New York longer than she has. Uh-huh. I've been living in New York my whole life. So I don't get that same excuse. Yeah. Excuse of what? Of being masculine. Sound yeah. like but that's DMX, what I'm trying so. to say. You are oh, you, saying is, that is, you don't want to. Is your is your father in your life? Not not really. Not really. No. Don't play that man like that. Like, I'm for real. Okay. Okay. No. So, so why do you think it is that you're you're a feminine woman, or you give off femininity? Um, honestly, mm. is your mom? I learn from, like, I learn through other people's experiences. Mm. I watch people. I go to college. Mm-hmm. I went to college. Mm-hmm. Not go to college, but experiences. I experiences. What so, kind of what kind of experiences is make you feminine though, like? Because this is something that maybe more women need yeah, to hear yeah, so I they think... can get outside of this DMX yeah. era. Honestly, I would say for any woman out there, mm-hmm. definitely finding that self-love. And people think self-love means, you know, sometimes I'm from New York and I would say definitely materialism is in New York like heavy. Mm-hmm. Like I know growing up, I was made fun of for wearing certain things. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I've learned is, you know, be true to yourself, know what you like and what you want in life. And what you feel like is a good life might not be like what somebody else feels like. For me, it might be waking up and not going to work, you know? Yeah. For you, it could be a bag that you like. You know, it might be different for everyone else, you know, but you work towards that goal. Mm-hmm. I think that would be good. But for the most part, that self-love and loving yourself more than you are wanting love, mm-hmm. actually. 
Mm. You know, being in an abusive relationship, mm. I would say that can be detrimental to your mental health. Mm. And yeah, therapy might actually and it, be... That might make you more masculine too, you know what I mean? Because you right, feel like you got to toughen up. Like, mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anybody in survival mode is going to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the best person to be around. Right, right, right. Isn't life called survival mode? No. What? You I mean, survive every what, day? What, what makes you think that life is... About survival, you like, own. You on your own. Well, you have for to a be man, a like, function adult. Well, like we keep listen, giving women this excuse of survival. No, that's called being an adult. Like no, you're being an adult and you're surviving in the world. That's how it is. Surviving the world. See, that's how men think. My mm. thing is, survival mode mm. is it's you're always. That's how on, men have to think. I agree with you. Huh? I, I agree with you saying yeah. Yeah, that's well, that's how men think. Because honestly, mm. when I looked at it the other day, mm. God gave us everything that we need. If you know, uh, I don't know if you guys are religious, but mm. God gave us everything we need. We have food. You guys now tax food. When I say you guys, I mean men in general. Like those, you know how society is constructed. Yeah. Right. You know, so like, but we've always had food for free. We can go outside. Everything that's beautiful. I thought about it the other day. Diamonds are free if you put in the effort, right? Because I I really want to say this. Where are diamonds from? Africa. But where do they come from? The earth. The earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When was the price tag on diamonds? When it, they, somebody else put it when there. When they started fi- refining it and shit. But somebody else put it yeah. there. But mm-hmm. it's free. If you think about it, if you do the work and you put the effort in, yeah. it's free. Okay. Everything that you think is beautiful is actually really free. But people mm-hmm. in this life, like, mm-hmm. you know, we do put a price tag on a lot of things. So you for, the, nobody- for the convenience. So you think nobody in America is in survival mode? Everybody is like more dirty in survival mode. What I'm saying is mm-hmm. it's not a good thing to be in all the time, though. It's but not a good thing. I think I think as a black man in America, you always not, in just a man in general, mode. I would yeah. say. Uh, I, I, I would say more so a black man yeah. in America. Mm-hmm. And I think that women, you know, what I mean, they, they only feel like they're in, in the survival mode when it comes to, you know, finances or whatever. They got to pay bills and they got to. Right. Uh-huh. That's not when they in survival mode because the you know there's government assistance, there's mm-hmm. men willing to trick, mm-hmm. is you know what I'm saying that's why they feel more comfortable. That's mm-hmm. why the pressure is more on us. That's why I agree with what she said. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I that's why I'm saying this excuse of we in survival mode when there's plenty of women that's in their femininity in the same life and everything like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying like because you uh, pay all your bills. Yeah, how did you know? It, you're just guessing. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you still find the, the time to be feminine and, and... You work you work as well, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, y- y'all both have the same <laughs> access to life, but y'all still present in a feminine way, which uh, men are going... A certain caliber of men will gravitate to that. When you acting like a man and you want a hood nigga and you acting like a hood nigga, you're going to get that toxic hood nigga that ain't no good for you, that's going to yeah. abuse you, that's really. going to leave you mentally drained. Like, that's just how it's going to be. Like Not really. I don't think so. You got rich men that mm-hmm. leave their women drained. It, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You got rich women right now, celebrities. They they do it right now for the women yeah. that they love. Look, look at Cardi B in a relationship with a whole nigga. Like, come on, like, we both got money. Like, what are you still doing? Stu <coughs> saying stupid shit. I mean, Man, what are you talking about? Cheating? Shit. Doesn't matter where you come from. You talking about cheating? So, but I do think yeah. I, I agree with what he's saying though. When you you shouldn't be looking for someone to, in a way tame you in the most aggressive way though there's a way you can lead and you can lead with love you know you don't have to i'm not saying like everything is about love and peace but you know definitely you want somebody to lead you with love know when to like raise the voice know when not to like not just i think she's dealing with like stockholm syndrome like you know uh when Mm. you're comfortable with your abuser or the person that's taking advantage of you and then she you tend to look for that person hopefully therapy or talking to somebody or frequently feeling a different type of love and and stop running away from that. You know, when somebody could be genuinely loving you or caring for you, you know, we tend to think that's fake or push that aside because we used to being, you know, you know, as a young dude, I, I picked, I picked poorly in certain women because it was a reflection of my mother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was comfortable with being abandoned or disrespected in a certain degree. Mm-hmm. And women are doing the same thing, whether it's from their father or from their first love experience where a man wasn't treating them fair. Yeah. 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 I would just say it's all a journey. Like, it just depends on where you meet that woman in, in her life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, this is who I am today. I'm not saying that I've always been like this, not mm-hmm. always felt like this. It, it took some time and 
effort to get to this point in my life. I feel like I did have a period in my life where I was a little bit more masculine or whatever. Mm. But I just feel like I just I'm a Taurus. So Oh boy. I'm just naturally <laughs> like Damn, you almost had stubborn. it until you broke the st- the zodiac sign. I know. Right? Like now I'm but like, I'm that's BS. Saying, but I'm just saying like <laughs> I'm just very I can be very stubborn and very mm-hmm. like I like things a certain type of way, but over time I've learned how I met to a lot of stubborn women and not lead with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, 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 that's cool that you mean. Because like I said, I don't, I don't think I have, I don't have an issue with that. We understand that both men and women have both feminine and masculine energy. Mm-hmm. It's about which one you lead in, right. and depending on which one you lead in is the type of caliber of people that you want to end up attracting. Like you know what I mean? True. So yeah, for sure. I um, let me get to this next topic, right? Um, at what point should a person become open to having sex or losing virginity? Jude, I think this was your topic. Yeah, um, I just heard a young lady saying how um, she was eager to get it. She liked getting attention and affection from guys, and she felt like having sex brought a lot of that for her. And I feel like, you know, as a young man, um, I, I even feel like, you know, my life growing up, we're, you know, forced to think about sex at a young age. So I just want to think, want to know, what do you guys think about, like, you know, you know, at what age is it appropriate to even think about sex? So how was that experience for you? Or what would you tell another young person that's listening to us? Like, you know, should it just all be, oh, I'm attracted to you or I got feelings for you? Or is it something you should discuss with your family, your parents? You know, mm. so just what's your thoughts about it? Well, I feel like I want to go first on this one, but um, I feel like um, I, I lost my virginity at a young age. You know what I mean, I just think it, it comes down to comfortability. You know what I mean, if you you, I don't even say you ain't think if you think like you're ready because when you're young, you think you're ready for anything. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? It's, but I just this this day and age, I think that. Like, there's a lot of access to sexual things, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Porn, you know what I mean? Movies and stuff like that. So it's, it's really hard. Like, women, uh, people are having sex at young ages in this generation. I think, I just think it's education and comfortability at that point. You know I mean? Like, you, your parents need to be in their children's lives and talk it to them, especially in this generation because yeah. it's so accessible. You know I mean? But when you lost it, was it like, oh, I'm ready to lose it? Or was it like you, you felt you were pressured to lose it because you know, as young boys, we do get pressured. Oh, you still a virgin or yeah. whatever the case is. Oh, I was just slap the shorty cheeks, lying. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But you know, what I mean, so did yeah. you feel like you were pressured, or you genuinely was in a situation where you like, I'm ready to have this. Like, I think because I was a curious young kid, you know what I mean. So, what well, I had to dial up, you know what I mean. I was on the website, so, so you know I, mean? I was curious at a young age, so. Once the opportunity presented itself, the, uh, I jumped on it, and I, I don't regret it. You know what I mean? So at this age that I'm at, I still don't regret it. So mm-hmm. I feel like I was comfortable and I was ready at my age, but that that's not the case for everybody. You got to figure out where you at in your life and how comfortable you are. And I believe you you did break the record for the youngest person to ever eat ass, right? <laughs> no, that was I think that was Elijah. Um, Elijah, who the fuck you just said that was. I think that was I, I think that was that Elijah. Yeah, yeah, he nah, definitely. That's a different he, nigga. I don't know. He, he definitely came said. out the <laughs> woman eating ass. So I ain't gonna lie. To right. <laughs> so, what's your thoughts on this? Um, I would say personally, definitely having a conversation. Sex nowadays mm. is, yeah, it could be easily accessible, but. There's a lot of things going on in this world that you should definitely consider, mm-hmm. you know, things that's incurable. And you mm-hmm. want to make sure that um, mm-hmm. that safety, your safety is first. And that goes back into what I was saying about the self-love. You definitely want to get the information in and not just give your body to anybody. Facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel? Oh, well, I got a, um, I got a 17 year old that's staying with me with a baby. That's what? Staying with me with a baby. That's a male or female? It's hard to talk to her about, you know, God and stuff because she already did it already. So what I'm going to say, she already did it. She, I mean, you got to talk to her about the I next mean, one. I mean, I talk to her about motherhood. Right. You know what I'm saying? How to take care of and, not, and stuff like that, but still don't get it. Is the father in the life? No. See, probably. you got that's that's what you need to talk to her about. Like, the next time you have a baby, you got to make sure this person is committed to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be out here now pushing them out. Father, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was abusive. Let me, can I ask you a question? What kind of what kind of man your daughter is into? 
Uh-huh. Is she is she also not your daughter? It's somebody. No, you oh, said you said you daughter, said right? Your daughter, right? No, not my not my oh. daughter. Oh, okay, okay. What's it, son? It's a, no, she said it's she my has somebody. Niece's in. Friend, best friend. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Oh, I, got you. Okay, I thought okay. it was your daughter, right? Like, yeah. Like staying with us, she got like she got a newborn baby, and she fell with team. Right. So like, yeah. her mother's in her life. So much to her about sex and. I mean, I tell her, like, yo, protect yourself when you go out there. I don't know what you're doing, but, yeah. you know, she's her own person. She's her own woman. You still got to talk to them, though. Man. You know, I still talk to them, yeah. but yeah. they don't the, get it. Is it, her mother, like, her, her parents in her life or no? Hmm? Her parents are in her life? Yeah. And they're not talking to her? Father died in her life. Yeah. Dad died in her life. So I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I do talk to her from time to time, you yeah. know, see where she at, you know, in the head. Yeah. But she's not, there's no grind me more, you no know, mm-hmm. nothing there. It's like she just, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. All right, folks, we're going to pray. Yeah. Everybody need to pray. Right. Um, for me, I would definitely say the, well, you should start having sex when you're ready to have sex. Um, and that could be any age or whatever. Me personally, I feel like I had sex too early. It wasn't that crazy, but um, I was senior in high school, so I think that's pretty late compared to a lot of people. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> why, why do you feel like it was too late? Um, I just because people was having sex in middle school. That's what so it's like for me to wait all the way that's to see my senior year it was kind. Of, I kind of felt like okay, it wasn't too bad, but. Um, me now, I kind of wish that I never would have did it, but that's just me in the place that I am today. Yeah. Um, but sex education, sex education is so important. I feel like you have to educate yourself, especially with everything that's going on in today's society. You just never know. And you need to get tested. You need to use protection. And I'm an educator. So I make sure I tell my students this all the time. Like Mm -hmm. y'all out here having fun, Mm -hmm. but Sometimes that fun is gonna come with consequences. So, do you feel like you was pressured? By... Um, I felt like because I thought I was in love with my little boyfriend mm-hmm. that, and he, I knew he wanted to, so I was right. just like, okay, whatever. But I regretted it afterwards. We like, always want to. But... Or but <laughs> was it a right after or later down the line? It was right after. God damn. <laughs> craziness, man. Now, I, I definitely agree <laughs> with what you said about the uh, the sex education. Damn, motherfuckers is going crazy over there. Like, yo, I'm not going to you. But um, the sex education is definitely important. I think the access to um, the sexual content, I feel like that shit is just fucking every. You can't avoid that can't motherfucker. Avoid like, that shit, before, man. when the internet was new, we had to dial up. There was still parental controls. Like, now the kids are putting the parental controls for the parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're locking the parents out. They're like, no. And, and, like, in, my, in my day, like, I was more tech savvy than my parents. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it's on. It's on. That shit was off the whole time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, we were just switching on and off. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So for um, definitely <laughs> more education. Um, maybe try to restrict them to um, sexual content as much as possible. You know what I mean? Even when they be on these games, they may, maybe an ad might pop up. and then, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, having these conversations, letting them know the ramifications. Yo, when I was in middle school, we had, and nobody seems to have had this situation, but for home economics, we they gave us a baby to take home for the weekend. I never had that. Bro, that's only that's only I outside the tri state, bro. Egg, <laughs> I, I seen it on TV. So yeah, show. I seen it in, oh, I in shows, it, yeah. but we never had it to tri yeah. state. Yeah. But it, it was yeah. definitely a great experience because that shit cried. You had to hold it a certain way. You got to fucking put the battery in. You know what's crazy? In junior high school, I'm watching like. I think it might have been Family Matters or Fresh Prince or something. They had to take home the baby and shit. I'm like, yo, so when we get to high school, we going to get that? I got to high school. And it was none of that shit, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know who my baby dad was going to be and everything. I was excited. <laughs> yo, but that weekend showed me a lot about being a parent. I was like, nah, exactly. I ain't trying to do this. So, again, I had a different yeah. mentality. Like, yo, you know, let me yeah. wear more protection, obviously. You know what I mean? Yeah, that um, could change your whole perspective. Man. Yeah, you know, there be needs to be more pre- Obviously, we just live in a social, the sexual, like, mm-hmm. use protection, please. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 it didn't affect me, but I'm pretty sure it affected other people in my age group. Sure, I feel like exactly opposite. Like, you said, yeah. you don't, it's not that I want to say I regret having sex, but the yeah. person I lost my virginity to, <laughs> like, I didn't say any words to her afterwards. You get what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like that's pointless. There's no, no connection. I wish it was with somebody I actually cared for or yeah. somebody I had even dated you get what i'm saying yeah. like i'm talking about 
two, three weeks later, I ain't never say nothing else. I was you like, pay for a stripper? Uh, no, okay, it, chill, it, like, it was yo. a girl from the building I lived in. He's but once she didn't, stripper. once she didn't give me it again, I was like, all right, well, fuck it. Next to the next person. But I felt like I had to get it again because the the <laughs> the pressure that I we don't speak on, but like a whole all your homeboys is lying to you, telling you. You oh you ain't get no pussy oh this nigga ain't get no you ain't no pussy ass. so I'm like you know fourteen years old like nah I gotta get yeah. finding out this nigga ain't get no pussy and I'm, right. I'm, I'm I'm fighting a battle that don't exist you get yeah. what I'm saying he said, I was just clapping some cheeks matter of yeah. fact on my way here I was yeah. clapping some cheeks right. you know what I'm saying yeah. but yeah. you know we we feel pressured and feel like we have to do it but I think even as men we shouldn't uh, just you know look for sex you know what I'm saying at a young age we need to focus on how we gonna grow and build you know what I'm saying outside of sex. Get your get some pussy when you're ready and yeah. when you comfortable yeah. or with that right person, but don't just throw it away on a throwaway. No pun intended. Yeah, what? I, I feel like when you have sex too fast, you create unhealthy bonds. I think men are such simple creatures. You think? So? Yeah, yeah, simple. I believe Not it. Too oh, much. oh yeah. yeah, I believe it. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but I think um, that pressure for me. It built character, you know what I mean? Because I, I look at people in this is this day and age, and they socially awkward. They don't know how to talk to women and shit. So I, I feel like that having that pressure on me, it really made me like, you know what I mean, take that leap and being able to talk to women and stuff like that. You know what I mean, I'm not saying that you have to have sex, but yeah. sometimes you need that pressure, you know what I mean, to you know what I mean, break out of your shell. Now that's for sure, and I think sometimes, like you say, it was pressure. Some men, they still want to compete with their homeboys so mm-hmm. their whole mentality is tunnel vision let me yeah, yeah, yeah. oh he just caught another body let me get another body yeah, like you know what i yeah, mean so yeah. now you want to go battle for battle y'all want to yeah. do a versus with bodies and shit like that like you know what i'm saying like how many niggas like, yo i fuck oh so and so but i fuck like so it becomes yeah. a competition yeah. and you know it, and it comes unhealthy because now that's the only thing you seem to be focused on in your life is how many women that's you can have right. sex with and that becomes a currency to other men for you like you know what i mean not how much money you got how many you know, businesses you open, it's just, oh, yeah, well, I fuck yeah, yeah. so-and-so, I got a big mind. That, like, that's, that's healthy, though. That, it, that becomes healthy. Like, how many businesses you open? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh I, okay. I, I, like, that's help. That's a healthy, right, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, competition. Yeah, 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 for sure, mm-hmm. man. Anyway, man, we appreciate y'all for being on the show. Again, let them know where they can follow you at. Chanel's dot world. Yummy world. She can say yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> at Emisha, E-M-M-E-I-S-H-A. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Promote your podcast. Oh yes, yes, yes. My podcast in our lane. That's at underscore in our lane. You can find me on Apple Music, um, Spotify, um, Amazon. Not Apple Music. I'm sorry. Apple Podcast mm. and Amazon Music. And wherever, wherever they stream podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amy should see me. Facts. Yo, first of all, I want to say shout out to Drew and and, and um and Ace because they had to remind you both times and you almost forgot the right. plug like you know, about your podcast. Like I be forgetting. Nah, that'd like, be like that. Is just, it new? No, no, it's been out for like <laughs> three years. How you forget? It's just I just be talking, and I don't. I, it's hard for me to promote myself. That's that's the area that I that you need I'm to work on. Like right? I just be just being like myself. humble type yeah. shit. Yeah. Like this year, I be forgetting. Yo, like, plug, plug, plug. I learned yesterday, man. Yeah. You gotta pop. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> you gotta. Yo, pop. join the membership. For that. Like we got story time. Like you know what I mean. Well, yeah, yeah, appreciate like, y'all for tuning in. Mm. Hit that like button. Um, subscribe if y'all didn't already subscribe. Mm-hmm. Join the membership, man. We got some stories to tell. We is in Atlanta. We got some stories mm-hmm. to tell, man. Cop the merch, Cop man. Cop the Daily merch. Crew. That cool. Logic over filling. Mm-hmm. The and second, the second, second channel, YouTube channel. Daily rapper crew clips. We out here. I mean, yo, did you say that? Daily rapper crew clips. Daily rapper crew clips. See how you slow it down? Like, yeah, like Daily rapper crew clips. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to podcast audio every Tuesday morning, six a.m. Man, appreciate it. Indeed. I mean, good show, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And grab it out. Grab it out. Wow. Awesome.